So you speak a lot about the NAD plus molecule. Last time we spoke about it in detail. Um, it's a molecule that boosts our longevity genes and protects us from aging. So tell me this, is just taking an AD plus going to help me with all the bad destructive processes, help restore health, vitality, or do I still need to cut down on bad habits, exercise, eat healthy, you know, all the boring stuff? <laughs> well, so the, the, the scientific answer is uh, we, we don't know uh, the answer to that, but what I, I do is uh, I do a combination of those things. Um, we do know that exercise and, and fasting are beneficial. Uh, to the human body. So if you want to place bets on longevity, though, those are good ones, even though they're boring and sometimes painful. Uh, and then the supplements, what I what I think is that they, they enhance that. Um, I mean, very few people do perfect exercise or perfect fasting, and these could enhance that. Um, there's a little bit of data from my lab where we did it, the NAD boosting in combination with exercise, and they added to each other the benefits. Um, and resveratrol is the same. If you do resveratrol on its own versus uh, fasting, they both have health benefits. If you do them together, we saw uh, a lifespan extension, um, quite a big one in old mice. And so, again, I think uh, that all points to the combination being the best bet. Mm -hmm. Because I'm thinking like on the other hand, right, if you cut down on bad habits and only eat vegetables and exercise and never smoke and never drink, I mean, just that, it's sort of a cone ball perhaps that, you know, would allow me to live long and look great and I won't probably need any pills if, if, if a person is able to stick to that all their lives. Do you know what I mean? Well, it's a, it's a good start uh, there if you just don't do the five things that doctors, uh, well, if you do the five things that doctors tell you to do. Which is? Uh, well, and you're going to ask me that. Um, <laughs> my recollection is uh, obviously don't smoke. Right. Uh, don't, don't be obese. Okay. Get, get exercise. Eat the right f types of food, which would be mostly uh, focusing on vegetables and not, um, uh, not trans fats, all that uh, other bad stuff. And then I think the last one was mental health. I can't remember if it was good sleep or, or lack of stress, but in any case, just the things that you are, you know, you'll read about on the internet or in newspapers, those are pretty basic things. Th those alone, if you do those, you'll extend your life on average by 13 years, which is a big deal. So it's not that hard to live longer uh, for most people, but w we also know that people who live those healthy lives still will die in their 90s. Um, it doesn't give you the longevity of uh, Jean Calment, who, who in France made it to 122. Um, so if you're looking for longer life than 90s and, and healthy life, which is the yeah, important I thing. Think long and healthy is the key because, I mean, you can live till you're 90, but if you're in a wheelchair or you have Alzheimer's, I mean, if I don't see the point living that long, do you know what I mean? Uh, well, yeah, not only do I know what you mean, it's what I live for. Uh, it's what I do with my life. It's my career is to reduce morbidity, reduce disease. Um, and it turns out if you're not sick, uh, you rarely die. Uh, and so longevity goes along with the health, um, not the other way around. Um, typically, typically medicine as it's practiced today, in my view, does things the wrong way around. They will treat, uh, a what we call a disease, mm -hmm. a, a process that goes wrong. They treat it after it happens rather than before. And they only treat that one disease rather than try to protect the entire body. And so we're, you know, as a result, we have more and more patients with dementia because we can keep the heart and the cardiovascular system healthy these days much better than we used to, but the brain still ages. Mm -hmm.